All right, everyone. Good morning to you. Hope you're all well and good and winter prepped, winter ready. Um, myself quite hungover this morning. I had to take the wife to York yesterday for a day out. It was a good day session around all the pubs and bars, but my head this morning is paying for it. So that's that. And the coffee. I'm just trying to get it down. But Speaking of coffee and mugs, I really like the look of all of your koi mugs that you have made for yourselves. So that's probably something I'm going to have to get for myself. Just don't want to feel left out. <laughs> um, so the other thing, obviously now I've just looked and I've got 130 subscribers. So I'm really pleased about that with four weeks on YouTube now. Um, really didn't expect that much of a following and a, a liking of my little pond in my back garden this far up in the northeast. It's not many people seem to do this hobby up here that I know of. Well, it's nice that I can get involved with you lot on YouTube and interact a bit more about it. I started off many years ago watching the likes of Righty and Andy from Koi Diaries and just went from there really and then found loads more other channels as I'm sure you all have so it's just nice to be a part of that now um, some of them I get a really good laugh at obviously even Koi Pond Dave he's always has me in creases with his one-liners and approach to the hobby um, I'm really enjoying some of the live shows now that I listen to when I'm working away. Uh, Gaz's Koi Pond, JKP lot. Uh, a lovely bunch of lads just want to talk about the hobby and get people involved. That's really what it's about for me as well. Just chatting amongst like-minded people, offering ideas, help. It's just really what it all should be about. So, actually, yeah. Speaking of them, a nice big shout out to them who mentioned my new channel on their show, uh, Gaz, Nick and Daz. I believe they've been scrolling through a couple of my videos and liked what they've seen, so thanks very much for that. We'll hopefully interact some more and maybe even meet each other one day down the road. You never know. I'm quite far up here from me as all, but there will be quite shows and things that we can bound the bump heads at, I'm sure. Also, I'd just like to say it really gives me a good boost of confidence on here when people that I've watched for years stumble across my little channel and comment. People like Lou from French Koi Connection, um, Phil from Telford Koi Pond, uh, who else was I? Vince from Twisted Koi, all the characters. So, thanks very much for dropping comments on the videos and for watching. Really means a lot. Uh, hopefully just encourage us to keep going and doing more of them and yeah so we can all just become another addition to the community really and help each other out so that's what I'm all for also big shout out to my koi dealer Mr Ashley Dart from Yoshiki Koi he is the only person I buy my koi off now I just like the system he has in place for selecting fish for me, quarantining them for me and I know exactly where these fish are coming from the condition and the quality of the fish for the price is something I'm really happy with and I don't see any reason to change at the minute so long may that continue uh, uh, now then with all the pleasantries and shout outs out the way we will pick up from where we left off on the last video um, the prepping going into the sort of winter I did find some issues on my scrapes unfortunately which I didn't really want before winter but luckily the weather's been good enough to allow me to treat for it so I'll just cut to a little short now showing you a little clip of what we actually found so we'll just do that
So yep, as you can see there, fluke and to top it off also tricadina, which was just a kick up the arse at this time of year that you didn't want to find. So we went to our armory and this was the weapons of choice that we used to sort out that problem. I did have fluke and trick earlier in this season, start of summer, which I thought I had totally eradicated the first time, but obviously with these things, and we, as we know, you just never get rid of them fully, or they always find a way to come back. But it's dealt with now, hopefully again. So we really just didn't want anything going into winter being on the fish. I always panic with winter. In the past, it is the time of year where I tend to lose fish. Touch wood, I haven't lost any in the last two years, but it's always in the back of my mind that winter is a problem for me up here. It's, again, 900 feet above sea level, day and nighttime temperatures, fluctuations, just stress on the fish. It, in the past, it's been the only thing that's really made me lose fish is going through a harsh winter. So now... I have the steps on the pond which hopefully keep that sort of balanced out. Doesn't the temperatures change that much? We'll talk through more about that in upcoming videos more for winter prep. But yep. Trick flukes dealt with. What we did last Friday I kept the pond purple for five hours. I don't think you even need to do that there that long to hit a trick but it sort of wasn't an issue the fish handled it really well monitoring them all the time plenty of oxygen on correct dosage of potassium in I didn't make a video on it and show you it all up because even after keeping koi for up to 20 odd years that I have been I still wouldn't want to give people advice on treatments much better people out there who can do that than me but yep Potassium purple for five hours for me, full aeration on, then neutralised with hydrogen peroxide after the five hours. I let the fish rest, so it was overnight, and then the following Saturday afternoon, we hit them with the Lernex Pro for the flukes. And then a week later, we've done the second dose, because I believe it was the gill fluke we found which is lays eggs so hopefully we've caught that cycle and they'll go into winter now once they've recovered a bit from this medications that's been in it, it does knock them a bit even if you get everything correct on them so but certainly wanted to go into winter with the parasites eradicated so that's where we are now so then I'll just spin these around and we'll take a look outside and see what's going on with the pond as it is at the minute. Again, not a bad day for the end of October. It's been quite mild even up here on this mountain. Uh, we've got a net kindly given to me by one of the friends I do have around here that keep koi. Is kind of give me this it's just I'm not even sure the size of it, it only looks about 15 mil squares but it's doing the job I see that all the acer trees are dropping the leaves now there's far too many of them we're getting in so we'll put that on I didn't even have to cut it fit like a treat well happy with that See what temperature we've got today. I use the thermometer in the feeder, seems to be more accurate. Currently 11.7, so they're looking a lot better now. All the sulcans stopped off the parasites they had. Robert's getting lost of the winter sun as well. It's 
a shame because obviously not having a roof on this pond you get the glare so you can't really see the best of the fish but yep nice calm swimming around now not sitting clamped uh, the, fl the flashing was just come out of nowhere so that was obvious when I had to start some treatment after the scrapes what were found but yep happy that's dealt with now I'll just switch the air off and we'll get a better look at it. might be able to see them a bit better. My tuba. She is a real character. She would literally get out of the pond and empty the feeder herself if she could. The Matsuba, which is about, I'd put it about, got to be about 20 year old now that fish. But, uh, the Achiba is matching it in size and she was only about 3 year old. So she's going to be a big fish. So yeah, like I say, they're all looking a lot happier now. Just fingers crossed for a mild winter. Get us back into spring as soon as possible. Just haven't felt the need to do so yet with the mild temperatures we've been having in October. But when winter finally does take hold and we will all be getting our yaks out to get around in the snow up here on the mountain. I will be covering the surface of the water as I did previous years with the thermal pond balls just to help me retain the temperature from the ground and stop it through loss. I have them currently hanging up. Uh, they've been waiting to go on as you can see. So yep, when we get into the thick of it they will be going on. I've also mentioned before but the lower decking down here is completely sealed in and but even in between the joints it has a hundred mil king span inside there and so in here you can see the air pumps are inside there one for the bio chambers one just for the pond itself I have got two small heaters in there so that if needed they can go on. The whole decking, I say it's sealed in, all king span inside of it. We'll have just some bubble wrap down the back edge of it. There is small air gaps on the front just through the gravel which allow some air in obviously but we're currently keeping it in there at just over 20 so that's good so we'll experiment a little bit with these little heaters and see if we can pass any of that warm warmth into the pipe work that's all housed underneath the decking and the two air pumps which suck the warm air from underneath there so yep, that's going to be a little experiment this year to see how stable that keeps the water temperature for us and how much it costs to do so. There they are back on the food. It's nice to see when they, they totally went off it with obviously the parasite issues and the treatments. So 
hopefully get a bit more in them before the winter really takes hold. Well then everyone, again, thanks for watching. And thanks for everyone who subscribed so far. If you haven't done so, please give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. It really means a lot. And hopefully we'll keep this nice mild autumn going for a bit longer before the dreaded snow and freezing plumping temperatures come. But until then, we're going to enjoy the garden and being able to sit outside by the pond some more. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.